Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbert's Gaming Channel. I am the dude and we're about to play This War of Mine, the final cut. Okay guys, this is a game I saw it popped up on my Steam. It's really cheap at the moment, it's worth having a look. And the developers are putting all proceeds to um, go to the Ukraine Red Cross uh, as their war with Russia at the moment. They're sort of standing up for what's right gonna put all that over there so uh, good cause and let's hope it's a good game let's go have a look I, I believe it's by the same makers as Frostpunk um, and it seems like a little bit of a survival game where you don't play like a hero you are just a family trying to survive through a war so could be a bit close to home um, let's go take a look okay so Frostpunk 2 yeah look. Um, right, so we've got workshops and set up mods, stories mode, discover this war of mine stories, try to survive, let's just try to survive shall we, let's hope we get like some sort of tutorial or something. It looked, um, from the pictures of what I see, it looked a lot like sheltered, so um, let's have a look. This might be the house we're in. Big old house. That'll do. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh, look, real faces. When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease and shelling. Katia met both Pavel and Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. Uh, before the war, she used to be a reporter while Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavel was the star of a local football team. Katia even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatically different circumstances looking for food and shelter. Oh, right, so these are our people, are they? Where are you guys? You're, you're both in, what, the kitchen? Katia's downstairs. What buttons can we use to look around? Is there, we can use the mouse to drag. Okay, well, <laughs> we have no idea what's going on. Right, our things. Shelter is one depressingly ugly ruin. We should do something about it. We only have one chair, we lack beds, we have to sleep on the floor. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete. And the condition of those who are sick or wounded may drastically worsen. We don't have a radio, we don't know what's going on in the city, we really miss books. A good book could help us forget the horrors of war. Staying here is slightly better than living on the streets. We lack coffee and cigarettes. We have breaches in the walls. Our shelter is not safe. And we have to constantly be on guard. Okay. Drag for more. Drag what? Drop. Equip. There's, okay, I guess this is nothing. Okay. Alright. Well, let's have a look what we can actually do then, shall we? We can end the day. Ooh, day one. Okay, so, um, Katia. What's this? What should I make? Can you make a bed? No, we haven't got anything, so, um, what's this? Improved workshop? I don't think you can do that either. Let's go over here. Do we have, like, certain things that we can do like skill points maybe what's this you mine that up right she's busy with that let's go on to the next one um we'll go through here there's some rubble we can remove here as well so we'll get him to do that we'll go on to the next one you can go through here 
and what's this chair or that? Can you sit on it? That is what you do. Okay. Well, get you to go up here. We'll leave the front door shut for now. Not that it makes much difference, I'm sure. We're exposed anyway. But we can pick this lot up, can we? Grab all. Nice. We're still going. Good. I'm going to take everything. Graphics aren't bad, are they? Seems pretty good. happen with this one it's blocked we can break it open good yeah we should do that they're still clearing all this see some of the rubble's gone down nice all right in we go and then we'll get you to do this one he's clearing up a bunch of stuff quite quickly it's good gravel go back to her now she can do this what's in this it's locked, but tools should do the trick. Okay, let's get you up. Can you climb up there? Yeah, excellent. He's cleaning it up as well. Good. Take her out here. She can go do that. You can go do that. Oh, rabble. You can do that one. You got your hands in your pockets, mate? Get them out of there. They need to work. Uh, right. What is this? We should have some bits. So, what is down here? Oh, look at this. We'll get you to go down there. We're going to get you to come here. And then we're going to bring this guy. Carry on. We'll take him upstairs. Oh, wait. Let's get the other bloke. Get him up here get them clearing up the stuff uh, it's I could force the lock if I had tools okay so that's something we need to look at uh, let's see if you can go make anything oh that's simple I should be able to open it okay right so what can we do beds make a bed um, do we have like a bedroom? We could just live down here, I guess. Would be nice to have like a room, wouldn't it? But everything's a bit dodgy. Alright, we'll put it in here. But no, don't run. It's okay. She's got bargaining skills, apparently. Awesome. Right, we're going to bring you down here. You go down here and sort that out. Got quite a good little feel to this. I guess we've got one piece of food. Um, right. I want you to make a bed. We're going to place that there and then we'll get another one so everyone can sleep in a bed. Seems like it's just like the underground, isn't it? Can't do that. Can't really. That's messed up. I can't put this here because that one's going there. Okay, well we could, we could actually put that there, should we, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I'll put it down there. Put it down there. It looked like it might have paused while I was doing that.
I can hear gunshots or something in the background there. They keep blinking, I'm sure. I'm looking away. Are you blinking? I'm watching you now. Are you blinking? Yep, you just blinked. I blinked at the same time there. It's a bit confusing. Um, right, you. Go and do this. Hostels open. Okay, so we're good. What can you do? Are you going to get in bed? Nice one. Okay, can we see if we can do anything else with this lot? Do you need to sleep? Is there any way of telling their, their stats? That's it. Uh, no, we can't do anything with that at the moment. We just need more wood. Alright, we might get some in a minute. Okay. What's that noise? 7 p.m. You go get that bed. He's a fast runner. We have to remember that. Okay, what can we do? Consumables. What's this? Homemade single use filter to purify rainwater or distill alcohol. Nice. Oh, it'd be great to listen to current news and weather. So, can we make this then? Nice. Do a radio. Have that near the, the beds. We can click can we click bio? Yeah. Oh we can learn about them. Coffee drinker. Grew up in this city but went abroad to study and started working as a reporter. I've been away for years when the troubles escalated into a war. I was picked to write reports on it. I'd have volunteered anyway. I was so anxious to check on my parents, but it was too late. I found my house in ruins, my family had disappeared. I've been looking for them ever since. Okay, so that's that's her story. Well, we just jumped down there. Looney. Oh, the night. Oh, hello. What's this? Plan the night. Go out scavenging. Gotta wait for night time. Sleep in the bed. Sleep in the bed. He's a fast runner, so it makes sense, right? Um. Slightly sick. Make sure he sleeps. Sleep. Sleep in bed. Yeah. Yeah. You sleep. Um, you can only have one scavenger. What well, makes sense for it to be him because he's fast. Okay. Family barricaded themselves in this house, but despite their efforts, looters got inside. It's been abandoned ever since. Still, we might find some useful things that looters overlooked or left behind. Some food, huge amounts of materials. Yeah, go for that then. What do I need to take? Uh, we'll use the equipment during attack. So we need to... Oh, goodness. No. There's no point. Just go scavenge. There could be attacks. Ooh. Okay, we get to control it. The looters must have been in a hurry. There's still a lot of stuff left. So, I get to control him while he scavenges. That's pretty cool. Grab all. Take, take everything. We're, we're going. Sniper up there. Am I going to get shot? Oh no. What's this mean? There's someone in there? I think there is. We can't fight someone, right? This is pretty cool. I'll just sneak about and get some stuff. Maybe the looters are still in there. Right, we're full. Alright, that's uh that's that done then, isn't it? So that door 
has an eyeball on it. It's like maybe they're watching the door. That's it. Let's go. Pavel is back. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. Oh, you like wafting a fart when you come in. What's that all about? Okay, good. So, end day. We can end the day. Our things. And it's back to the morning. Does he... He, he must need some sleep, right? Go sleep. Uh, hungry. Oh, we need some food. Go do that. You're hungry too. See if we can... Um, what is this? What is this currently doing? Hmm. Oh, the radio. Didn't get finished. Not very filling, but it's food. How do we get more food? There we go. Alright, the rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failures comply would result in death. The rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners. Oh, it's the same. Okay. You can tune it. Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of Pogoran, the city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. The rebel leader instructs us. Oh, that's the same one. This is cool. Music. Okay, let's see if we can find anything else. No idea. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. Right, she's hungry. Can we um, let's see if we can make anything to sort of get any food? Wonder if we can do like farms. All right, workshops, household items. What do we need? A rainwater collector. Seems like a good idea that does. Moonshine still, crude stove. Let's get the rainwater collector first. Make. Does it have to be outside? No. Okay. That's weird, isn't it? Um, so I could put it here. that will just collect, will it? I feel like we're going to live underground. What about if there's... It could be bombs. Place that in the kitchen area. We'll, we'll have that as the kitchen. Let's get him down here. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. What's out the front here? Nothing. Oh, hello. What can you do? Right, can we make this? Put that in the kitchen as well. Can we do that? Cost not. Oh no. That's a pain in the butt. Um Place it up in there and screw it.
And he's still hungry. The other one's hungry. I'm gonna try and figure out food. Look at this. Oh, no. No, I want you to do that. What's this? Can you go have a look at this? I want to understand it. Okay, so I'm relatively clean. You'll need to, to prepare a good meal or alcohol. So, uh, components we need. You need a filter. Well, we can make one of those. Someone's at the door. The heck? That's weird. Uh, can you make me one of those? Thank you. Go on, Bruno. He's a good cook. I know your job, Bruno. Hey, Bruno. Go open the door. You know how much I risked to get here? Why you come to this house? Is it because it's massive? You best bring some stuff. We need food. I ain't got all day. I think you have. What we got? Trade? Ah, things. What do you want? Well... What's this? Medications. Uh, right, how about this stuff? Have your medications. What is this? Canned meal? I love that. What about this? A lockpick. Useful. Alright, how much for this stuff? Uh, I'll give you. How about I give you some herbs? Eh? Oh wait, I've got a, a, like a diamond piece of jewelry. There you go. Homemade single-use filter to purify. I need that. You gotta be kidding me! Show me some more. What? Really? One of these. How much stuff do you want, man? What about some of this sugar? You want some sugar? Mm. I don't have much. Oh my goodness, he just wants everything. Can we give that back? Give the medication. Oh, it won't do. Try harder. That's very generous. Wow. Let's have the lockpick instead. Can we? This offer of yours is just too damn impressive. Yeah, I thought it might be. There we go. Do that. Close that door. Right. What are we doing down here? Have you got anything good going on? What's this? Fuel. Everything that we can burn in here to warm up our place or in the stove to cook food. We can make it from wood, books, or components. So to make some fuel. Go on in. Make fuel. See what see what that does. We need more wood and components. He's hungry too. It's just no a new lock pick. See if you can do it. It might even be that I have to do it. Out. Might be doing Skyrim in a minute. Oh good. Ah oh, we got medications in there. Nice. 
Good, we're going to need some more lockpicks. <laughs> we have one. Everything that we need to burn fuel and fuel. Cool. Okay, so what else can we do throughout the day? If we get her to, she's got the bargaining skills, maybe we can get a better deal. Do I have to tell him to go away? Maybe. It is dangerous outside. We bring him me stuff all the time. Right, what you got? Let's um, see if we can get anything else off him. He's got some bullets. I need some more parts and more wood, wasn't it? have a bunch of herbs deal does that now give me what I need to make whatever it was I wanted um no chuck oh yeah need some more wood if I can get seven more wood oh components sorry we can upgrade this. Enables the manufacturer of more sophisticated items, appliances, providing us with more options to get food or meds and trade goods. We can upgrade it further to make electrical improvements. So if I can get some more, see if we can barter with him some more, get some more wood. Um, not wood. Take all these components. How much do you want for these bad boys? Oh wait, that's mine. Don't be a peanut, don't do it. There we go, three of them. Nice. We'll go back on to our little man down here. Can you do the upgrade? Nope, we still need two more. Uh, I will. No, stop it. One of them. Nice. Okay, let's see what we can do now. Wait. What the? What? Uh, no way, it's the upgrade I want. That's what I'm thinking. There we go. We'll do the upgrade. Nice. And you can go. Hope snipers won't see me. Yeah, me too. Be useful if you come back with some more stuff sooner or later. Another lockpick would be handy. Let's see, we might even be able to make him in this in this bench. Let's get this guy. What can we do? I can make a guitar. You are kidding. Having someone to occupy time is important. A guitar can brighten up your mood, especially if the person is playing knows what they're doing. Board up. Hmm. More against looters. We get looters? Oh look, we can make a nice armchair. Ooh. What else can we do? Uh, herbal garden. Grow some herbs here to make medication cheap. Or cheap cigarettes. Or vegetables. Shovels for clearing rubble, crowbars for breaking doors, and knives for self-defense. So this is going to be important. We need 10 parts and 5 woods. What is this? Trap for small animals. That's going to be important for food. Excellent. Okay. Well, we have no food. Starts you off difficult, doesn't it? Crikey. Uh, end my day. How about that? We're going to the night. Um, we're going to send our little fast guy. 
faster on it. Um, lots of food. Should we set this supermarket is located in the area remaining under military control, but people are still trying to scavenge it for supplies. We can expect to meet other scavengers there, so it's probably best not to get in their way. Some doors might still be locked. A crowbar could come in handy. So stuff like that. Quiet house. Untouched, lots of food, lots of meds, certain area of houses. People are trying to lead normal lives there, but nothing to look for there unless we're willing to steal. Rather than not. Uh, ruined villa. They say some people still live there against all odds. They must have some supplies stocked. You want to steal? Abandoned cottage again then. Yep. Yeah. Or the shelled school. Some food, huge amounts of materials, and lots of meds and parts. Um, idea to bring a shovel. So we'll go for the abandoned cottage until we've got good tools. And um, just go. Once we get some tools, we can uh, do some of these other ones. Hopefully, unlock the rest of the house. Okay, we've got this is the same thing. Let's get down here. See if we can get the rest of it. Go, go, go. Sneaky, sneaky. There is a carry on as well from the last time we came here. I guess once we've fully looted it, it might say there's someone there, isn't there? Whatever this is, it's moving back and forth. Uh, right, what we got? Loads of. We got some leaves. What are these for? Making up cigarettes. So if I put these down, we'll take the materials for the guns. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, go on, run to the exit. That's quite a nice touch that you can just set, do that quickly. Nice. Okay, go, 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 go. There we go. Got some bits and pieces. Excellent. This is a nice little game. It was like £3.74 or something. I'll add the link in the description below, guys. Remember, all proceeds will be going to UK and Red Cross. Um, so it's definitely a good cause. Really good haul. Let's have a look. We've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. No. We were attacked at night. Someone tried to rob us. They were just a couple of scavengers, so they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Bruno and Katia were wounded, and the attackers took a few things. Ah, oh, we need more people on guard. They stole my sponge thing. Man, I got slightly wounded. Slightly wounded. Okay, that's not good. Let's go have a look here. Uh, we can make this sweet chair. Should we make it? If you sit in it with a good book, you can almost forget about the war. Oh, that's going to be important. There we go. We're going to make that. Uh, slightly wounded. How about you go to bed then if you're slightly wounded? And you. Just chill out for a bit. This guy's going to go to bed in a sec anyway. We just haven't found any food. And we can do repairs. We're going to have to wall up some of this with those patch repair kits. Yeah, sit in the chair. Ah. Magnificent. Yeah, go sleep. Sweet as. Alright, guys, I'm going to leave that episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you did, please do drop a like onto the video and subscribe to the channel. 
if you'd like to see more daily content. And remember, guys, this is, you know, it's a, it's a sweet little game, and all proceeds are going to UK, Ukraine Red Cross. So it's a good little cause if you'd like to sort of help out at all. Then I recommend it. I'm getting something for it. All right, thanks, guys. Take it easy.